Well, and this is a quick demonstration of my game Ants. Uh, when you open up Chrome and navigate to the index.php page, this is the, uh, the welcome screen. Um, so it says, you're known far and wide for the wondrous pies that you bake at your windmill. It is rumored that you might even use advanced forms of science or even magic to create such delicacies. Until now, you've been able to bake your pies without much interruption. However, a colony of ants has found the location of your windmill, and they'll do anything they can to storm your windmill and eat all of your pies. You must defend your windmill from the onslaught of clever ants, or your life's work will be ruined. So, the user can click continue. And now they can choose a level, easy, medium, or hard. Um, an easy level has a lot of twists and turns, so there's much more opportunity to, to stop the ants before they hit your windmill. Uh, medium has less twists and turns, and hard is a fairly straight path with um, minimal building area. Uh, so we'll just choose easy for this demonstration. Now you can choose a difficulty, um, easy, medium, or hard again. Easy uh, means that all the towers are at their base cost. Uh, medium, there's a multiplier that gets applied, so they cost 25% more to build. And then in hard, it's 50% more. So it definitely increases the difficulty of the game overall. But we'll just stick with easy so you can see a simple demonstration. So you click easy, and it brings up the game screen. So this is the play area of the map. Um, this is the path here where the ants will follow along and that's the windmill there. Across the top you have information, tells you what wave you're on, the difficulty you chose, the amount of gold you have, and the health of your windmill there. Along the left hand side here you have the towers, um, so you can click the slingshot button, hammer, bug spray, magnifying glass, cannon, or honey. Um, clicking any of those will buy a tower and then you can place it on the map. Um, you can see the gold amounts are listed here as well. Right now we have 150 gold to start, so you could click Slingshot or Honey. Honey doesn't do any damage, it just slows the ants down, so Slingshot's your best bet. Um, if you click Start here, the wave will begin, and then there's a speed button down here which allows you to just increment the speed um, that the ants move, because sometimes if you have a tower here and the ant passes your tower, it can take a very long time for ants to get through, so I've added a, a speed option there. So we'll click Slingshot. And as you can see, your <coughs> your slingshot is here. Um, the price has gone down. Sorry, the amount of gold you have has gone down to 50 because we've just spent 100 gold. Um, also, the tower menu here has changed to a big sell button. So if I don't want to actually buy that tower and place it, I can just click here on sell, and it gives me my money back, and I can pick other towers if I want. Um, but we're going to go through with the slingshot. And as you can see... When I put the tower here over the grass, it's uh, the alpha is at 100%, which means I can place it in these areas. But if I go over the path, you'll see that it goes about 50% transparency, um, which means I can't place it. So I can click here and nothing's gonna happen. Um, same thing with, with trees. It won't let you place it if you're colliding with trees. Uh, but yeah, let's put the slingshot about here. This is a pretty, strategic position. Um, now we can click start and you'll see it's going to send one ant through just as a little teaser, little tester, so that you know know what to expect. So here goes our ant. When it gets within range of the tower, the tower will shoot it. There we go. Um, so now wave one is done. Um, we've gained one gold from killing that ant. Uh, your gold that you get is equal to the HP that the ant has for the most part. Um, now you can see down here this has turned into a green button again with a play button and start wave 2. Um, when I click that it'll change to a pause button and I'll, I'll show you what you can do with the pause button in a second. So we'll start the next wave and a lot of ants will come through. You can see it's a pause button so if I click pause, it's currently paused the game. Um, if you want to go do something you can come back. <laughs> uh, and then you can click play again if you want to start it up again. So let's click play. And you'll see that here comes this wave of ants, and my slingshot tower is taking them out. <coughs> now, see, this can take some time. Um, so I've implemented that speed button, so we can speed it up. This is twice the speed, and you can do three times the speed. Uh, that way it just kind of gets through the, the boring parts there. Um, so now, yep, wave two is done. We have 101 gold. 
so we can pop another slingshot in there if we want. Let's uh, let's wait, and I'll I'll put a honey one in, so you can have an idea what what that one does just after this wave here. So next wave, and the waves do get progressively harder. Um, as you can see, they're getting closer together, so it does, they start getting pretty close to one another and come in um, bigger packs and different. Uh, hit points and, and styles and speeds and, and stuff like that. We have enough for honey, so we'll grab the honey jug here. I'll put it down there. Start the next wave. So the honey shoots out once every 10 seconds and it will stop every ant that hits it. Um, the projectile will last there for three seconds on the, on the path. But obviously at speed times three, it, it's a lot quicker than that. Uh, so there, there was actually blue ants. They move a lot quicker. Um, as we go through the other waves, you'll see different ants coming through in the different colors, mean different speeds and, and hit points. I'll grab, uh, start the next wave. Gonna have to buy another slingshot or we're not gonna, uh, let's see if I can make it. So there's blue ants. They overtake the brown ants very easily. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a slingshot here. <laughs> if any it hits your windmill, you will go down. Um, I think I already mentioned that, but if any it hits it, you will lose. Um, the, sorry, the health of the windmill will go down by the health of the ant, basically. So if a 1 HP ant hits the windmill, you'll go down 1 HP. 25 HP, you'll go down 25. And after you win a win a wave, um, you do get a bonus amount of gold. Um, that kind of helps balance it over time. But here, let's do the next one and I'll get a bug spray tower out next. All right, just enough for a bug spray. Pop that guy in there. <coughs> so the the honey um, and the slingshot and the cannon and magnifying glass and hammer they all they target the ants and they target their future position, um, taking into consideration how quick the projectile travels and it leads the target and will always hit it. Um, the bug spray doesn't do that however it just waits till something's in proximity and then shoots out eight eight projectiles and if the projectile hits the ant then it will damage it but let's watch the bug spray here as soon as they come within range it'll start shooting out when the projectile hits an ant it disappears it's quite handy for little turns like that in the path okay so we have 252 gold so we can do a hammer here Hammer um, hits really, really quickly, and in the future iterations, it'll be able to destroy armor dance when I implement those. Okay, we'll just keep going here, and hopefully, I can show you at least the cannon, um, the magnifying glass. I'm not going to be able to show you because it's going to take a long time to get that much gold. Um, but a cannon, a cannon's quite cool. Um, let's set it up. I'll just set it here and hopefully you can see what happens. It's an AOE, so um, the cannonball will hit an ant and then any ant within that radius will get damaged as well. So there we go. You'll see quite a few disappear when it shoots. There you go. And again. So instead of one, it, it does a damage to about, I think, everything within about 150 pixels. Um, that will increase later on uh, when upgrades are enabled and when you can upgrade the tiers. Um, then you'll be able to increase their overall range or the, the AoE space of the, uh, of the cannonball or the damage that it does, etc. Um, so that's basically it for, for the towers. I'm just going to try to run these through and see if we can get past the defenses here. I'm going to stop building towers and let you see what happens when you
get up into the harder <laughs> waves. So again, this is on easy mode. It gets quite harder if you pick a harder map and, and a harder difficulty setting. <coughs> Regenerative ants will be coming through soon. Um, those kind of ants, once they get hit, uh, they do regenerate hit points over time. So if you don't have enough damage per second, they will slip right through. <coughs> Should be coming through any second now. There we go. Now watch up here the health. See the health goes down when the ants hit the tower. Sorry, hit your windmill. Okay. Here come the regenerative ants. They have little crosses on their back to show that they can heal themselves. See, they're a lot more powerful. <laughs> so if you don't have the damage output, you're you're not going to stop them. Um, I do have enough for magnifying glass, so I'll pop that in now, uh, just so you can see what it's like, since you've seen the, the regenerative ants. So we'll start this. This thing shoots really quickly, um, and it does quite a bit of damage. And it has a very large range as well. That's why it costs so much money. So yeah, it's, it's quite o overpowered. <laughs> um, so that's basically it uh, for for the mechanics and, and how it works here. Um, I'll just reload it real quick so you can see what the medium level looks like. I'll just keep picking the easy difficulty because all it will change is the price of the gold. Um, so this is the medium level. As you can see, there's less less twists and turns less area to build towers in. Um, yeah, the ants just follow along the path and head to your windmill. But here I'll show you the hard level now. And this is the hard level. Um, so you yeah, have much less area to build and a uh, much shorter path to the tower and less twists and turns. Um, so it's pretty much a straight shoot to the tower which makes it quite difficult. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it for the game for now. Um, I, in my game design document, I have quite a few things listed for future future development for the next submission. Um, yeah, hopefully you liked the little demo, and I hope you have fun playing it. Thank you.